right, so today's adventure, we're gonna go to the Shingle Creek Trail. We've got uh, Sandra in the back there. Sandy is the car. Sandra is the road bike. We got rid of Samantha. Uh, we gave her to my friend Kurt in Colorado. That was my mountain bike. Why do I name things? I don't know. It just seems fun. Anyhow, um, right into Shingle Creek. I did complete part of Shingle Creek before, but there was a part of Shingle Creek that doesn't connect, uh, or at least I couldn't find the entrance. It was over there in Kissimmee. Uh, I went by the Kissimmee Municipal Airport. It's a nice trail. I, from the house to there, I completed about 17 miles or so. I do want to do it again, but I want to find out where this trail connects. So there's a road overpass here. Really what I'm doing also is uh, looking for other places where I can perhaps park instead of having to park at my school. And we have all kinds of folks using the trails. Hi. Yeah, so this overpass here, I will put some money on it and say it's probably one of the roads off of uh, the main highway so there isn't gonna be parking here um, but there is an entrance to the trail which is good you see here trail end well I guess this is the end of the road no it's about two miles from the entrance point so we're gonna head back there you can see that there is space to continue the trail. Right. So we took the route south, and that's how far it went. I'm gonna head back north and see how far north I can get. Maybe we'll do a couple more miles, you know, and then head home and enjoy the Sunday. See y'all in a bit. Uh, went back up north we're again on sand lake um, and this is where the trail is built um, I'm hoping that we didn't finish it uh, that would give me about four miles which is atrocious um, there's a part of the trail though that goes by the road and it goes south some this is the entrance we're gonna go back in Shingle Creek. Yeah, I, I didn't think that the trail went this long. I, I'm actually happy. I thought that it was going to end there. Uh, road top side, but it keeps going. So this is pretty cool. right there. I don't know if y'all can see them. They're just bubbling over the water. Uh, yeah, this is, you know, you can come out here, come early in the morning, you know, just 
look at the birds fishing out. If you're a bird watcher, this is a perfect place. Let's keep going, let's see what else we can see. thinking this is the end of the trail though uh, because you know we're getting to you know, areas with roads and whatnot so we're gonna stop and take a look it does look like it continues across the street but um, I don't see a sign like that one that has the name of the trail and this is a pretty busy road, so I think we're gonna end it here. That was fun. I just want to stay out of the road, even though it's not a real traffic day. People drive pretty nuts these days around here, so I'm gonna head on back and head on home and take a shower. Happy New Year's, y'all. Stay busy, live life. Okay, so task completed. Let's see, ended up being nine miles, almost 10. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we tried to make it fun. I took a couple of weird turns just to kind of stretch out the miles. But, you know, this was basically what I did today. Um, you know, just going around the trail. The trail was this part here, the long part. The outside is everything I had to do. And as always, like I said, I'm you know, not big on sharing the road with vehicles for safety. When you ride, always safe lights. Always safety first. Anyhow, thank you for sharing this short adventure with me. Uh, hopefully the school year won't be as crazy as I expect it to be and we can share some other things. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Deuces. Thank <laughs> you.